KPM. Assalamualaikum. Hello everybody. Good morning. How are you guys feeling? I hope you guys are doing great and always stay safe. With that being said, I would like to remind you guys to always always comply to the SOP set by the government by using a, a face mask in the public area, maintaining a physical distance of at least one meter or more. And always wash your hands using water and soap and bring around your hand sanitizer to sanitize your hands when needed. So as you guys know, if I'm talking English here, we will definitely learning English and we do have a very interesting topic for today's episode. So who will be the teacher? So let's see this profile. So everybody, let's welcome teacher Faiza from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besar. How are you, teacher? Thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, for being with us today here okay. at Teras Dede TV KPM. Okay, teacher. But before that, yes. I would like to remind of all of you guys: if you need to take off your mask, if you need to take off your mask, don't forget to keep your mask in a safe case or like me i have this uh, plastic case that i bought randomly bought on on online platform so it will help me to keep my mask clean and safe and you can also put it in your pocket or plastic pocket or a zipper pocket baiklah next we will go ada keluar bahasa melayu pula kan today we be we will be learning english and i will try my best to speak uh, english throughout the episode so let's uh, try together uh, our students at home and teacher today's yes. uh, topic is very interesting but before that i would mm -hmm. like to uh, call my friends to join uh, me today because okay. i i'm so scared of learning english alone you know my english is all over the place but mm -hmm. i believe my friends here they are very good in english so they shall are. we okay okay yes, let's welcome our friends also from smk bagan terap sungai besar hi everybody how are you guys doing? Oh, everybody's looking great, <laughs> smiling, happy faces. How are you guys doing? Do you guys are you guys posse? Posse? Yeah, posse. You guys are feeling <laughs> posse is posting. Uh, posse uh, is yeah, posting. Posse is okay. Uh, if you guys are ready, give me double thumbs up. Yay! Okay, so but before that, I would like to uh, introduce our friends. Uh, kindly introduce yourself. I will call your name one by one. So let's start with Zahir. Hi everyone. Hi. My name is Ahmad Zahir bin Jalaluddin. I am from SMK Bagan Terap. Okay. I'm excited to follow English lesson on Didit TV. Wow, thank you so much. Okay, we will proceed with hmm, Shaza. Uh, Assalamualaikum and good morning Salam. everyone. <laughs> uh, my name is Nushaza Alia and I can't wait to learn, learn English today. Okay, let's proceed with our friend named Ain. Assalamualaikum, hi everyone. Hi. My name is Kunurani Ain binti Sindam. I am from SMK Bagan Trap and I am excited to learn English today. Yeah, I am so excited too to have you guys with me today. So we will proceed with Nur Anis. Kindly introduce yourself. Hi everyone. My name is Nur Anis Munira binti Abdul Alim. Um, I'm from SMK Bagan Trap and I'm very excited to learn English. Yes, this is what we want. Very yes. energetic everybody in the morning. And we will proceed with Haikal Azizi. Kindly introduce yourself. Hi everyone. Assalamualaikum. I'm Haikal Azizi Benjamin. I'm from SNK Bagan Terap. I'm so excited to learn English today. All right. So uh, last but not least, uh, we would like to uh, have Iskandar to introduce yourself. Iskandar. 
Hello everybody. Hello. My name is Badu Iskandar Bimo Sukumizan and I'm happy to be here today. Oh, I'm so, everybody's so excited to be here. I am excited to have you guys with me today to help me with today's lesson. Okay, Teacher Faiza, maybe yes. Teacher Faiza can share with us what is the topic today. Okay, as you can see, our mm. topic today, okay. Uh, today we will be uh, we will be covering on reading mm -hmm. and we will have another complementary skill which is speaking okay so it's actually like this everybody can read okay right. mm -mm. and um before we go there nisa yes are you a novel addict yes i read novel all the time yeah. i have a lot of novels at home <laughs> okay so as for a novel addict a novel addict mm -hmm. sometimes we can spend as long as you want to uh, cover the whole novel, yes. reading from word to word, yes. and then rolling on the bed, mm -hmm. and then daydreaming about what, uh, as if we are the characters in the novel, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so so everybody can read. Uh, everybody can read. However, today we will learn how to read with a purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, for uh, students, sometimes they are given tasks which requires them to um, identify identify specific information and specific mm -hmm. details. In within a very limited allocated time. So mm -hmm. those are some skills that need to be inculcated through uh, some practices and some uh, training together with the teachers and also um, any online resources that you can find online. Okay, so today we will be learn. Uh, we will be learning uh, on how to read with a purpose. Yes. Okay, we will be taking a break, mm -hmm. a short, a very short break. But we will leave you guys with with the special. Ah, dear. It's uh, very early in the morning, teacher, and yes, I'm fasting, and my my throat is very dry. So forgive me if I fumble a lot throughout this episode. Exactly. We will be taking a very short break, and we will leave you guys with a special performance by our friend here, Haikal. I'll see you guys mm. after this. I think money is important for us. This is because money can help us to achieve our goals. For example, we need some money to study further in university. Besides that, money can help us to solve our problem. For example, we, if we have money, we can buy some things we want. Yes, I personally think that money is important in our life. If we are in emergency, we can use the savings to handle our situation. Flood, accident, fire is one of the examples of emergency. Therefore, we should let savings money to become not of heavy for us and so we are always prepared for a rainy day. I think money is important. Although money is not everything, but money is important for everything. Uh, we, can, uh, we can use money to find our happiness such as we can buy some luxury things such as car, houses and wash. Furthermore, we can use money to travel everywhere we like to relax our mind. Jika kau fikirkan kau boleh Kau pasti boleh melakukan Jika kau fikirkan ragu-ragu Usahmu tidak menentu Jika kau fikirkan kekalahan, kau hampiri kegagalan. Jika kau fikirkan kemenangan, kau hampiri kejayaan. Engkau lah apa kau fikirkan, terkandung dalam pemikiran. Kau fikir boleh melakukan, fikirkan boleh.
You guys are still watching Teras at Didi TV KPM with Mimi Sake and our teacher here, Teacher Faiza, and my dear friends from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besar Selangor. Fikirkan boleh. Congratulations to our friends for uh, such a performance. I am really happy that you guys are so brave to do it. Okay, teacher, let's yes. proceed with our lesson today. Uh, the topic is the world, the world of sport. The world right. of sport. Yes, okay. you're right. Okay, so we'll proceed with our lesson today. Kids, mm -hmm. if you are ready to proceed with our lesson, show me this. Double thumbs up! Yay! Okay, great. Okay, so we'll start with the first slide. Oh, sorry. Okay, this is my profile. Mm -hmm. And then, okay. So today we'll be covering on this, Unit 3, the world of sports. Since sport is getting, um, is getting more and more it's exposure, mm -hmm. okay? And... Uh, with the introdu introduction of esports, people are getting more and more aware of the um, all the terms, all the elements in sports. Okay, mm. so before we proceed with the lesson, okay, so kids, we have a picture here. Okay, Nisa, as you can see, yes, we have a girl with uh, lots of a money, girl, <laughs> yeah, holding an amount of money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so looking at that money. I can only think of buying expensive yes. rice for Baju Raya, right, Nisa? Yes. Okay, so kids, okay, please provide me a word, okay, to describe the expression of the girl holding the money. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we start with Badro? Badro, what can you see from uh, her expression? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what can I see is she is very excited. 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 Okay, All good. Right. Excited. Everybody will definitely feel excited if they have that amount of money, right? Who won't? Uh, who okay. won't? <laughs> okay, Gigi, may I hear from you? She is blissful. Again? Again? Blissful. Blissful. Okay, blissful. great. Blissful. Okay. okay, thank you. Next, Shaza. Shaza. Uh, she very cheery. Cheery, cheery. Okay. okay, great, great. Cheery. Who won't be cheery holding that kind of money? Okay. Yes. Next, Kuno. She is very delightful. 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 She looks delightful. Mm -hmm. Great. How about you, Zahir? I think she feel cheerful. 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 Okay, so we have lots of words to describe the expression. Okay, last but not least, Anis, can Anis. I hear from you? Oh, Anis, Anis looks very, very focused. Mm. Yes, Anis, may I hear your word? Lucky. 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 Oh. She feels lucky. Lucky. Mm. Okay, very great. Okay. Very good. Okay, so those are words that we can use to describe the expression of this girl with that money. Okay, mm. so actually, show me the money is the, um, the title of the article that we'll be covering for today. Mm. Okay, so... Now, if you guys have the textbook, uh, Form 5 textbook with you, okay? So, you can see on page 32 and 33, you guys will be seeing an article, a reading article, which consists of four paragraphs, paragraph A, B, C, and D. Okay, so, uh, kids, you guys have been assigned to read carefully, mm -hmm. to go through the article, and to digest everything in the article. But for today, you guys will be given allocated time to identify specific details and specific information based on the instruction given. Those are skills that we call skimming and scanning. Skimming okay. and scanning. Yes, skimming and scanning. All right. We don't do skimming and scanning when we, when we read a novel. Mm -hmm. Okay. As for me, because I am not really into novel, I just go to the first page, in the middle page, and also just oh, go through the synopsis. Okay. Because I am more really into uh, comics. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... We will go to reading comprehension practice, task 3, page 33 on textbook. Yes. Okay. So, our so, friends at home, if you have your textbook with you now, yes. you can uh, turn to page 33, right, teacher? Yes. And do the activity with us. Yes. Follow us. Okay. So, these are eight information given. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, kids and people, and people at home, okay, you guys are given eight information here. And then, 
This is where you have to do all the skimming and scanning to go through the article, but this time you are not going to enjoy every word of the uh, every word of the article. Mm -hmm. Okay, so read carefully all the information given and try to identify which paragraph describes or can be related to each specific information. Okay, okay guys. So these people, kids, you are given about um, three minutes. Three minutes, three minutes to identify yes, three minutes the to identify. points from the paragraphs uh, assigned to you guys. Uh, we we have four paragraphs, right, teacher? Yes, A, four B, C, and D. paragraphs, and uh, I believe you guys have read all the paragraphs carefully, and you have been identifying the information that needed to to be taken out, uh, yes. following the points here. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys are doing okay right now. Everybody's so like focused, yes. and our friends at home kindly take a, a, a very good look at your textbook now. We will be doing this together, our friends from SMK, Bagan Terap, Sungai Besar and also our friends at home. Okay, so we have uh, the first statement is mentioned how much money a famous company makes, yes. explains how football players earn their money mm -hmm. and we have third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth uh, statement there. Yes. So are you guys okay, doing okay? Everybody's so focused. <laughs> Okay, kids. We can, kids. We can see the lines on their foreheads. Yeah, they are, they, are, they are trying their best to identify <laughs> yes. the Okay, kids, because we are not in class, so whenever you, you can understand my instruction, mm -hmm. okay, usually the teacher will say, I understand, and they will respond to me by saying, I understood. understood. Okay, for, for this time, if you are getting whatever I say, show me this with a little shake. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, understand. So let us try together. Three, two, one. I understand. I understand like this. And then you'll repeat to me and respond. Yes. Yes. Thank you, guys. You're doing very great. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the three minutes start from now. Use this time to identify. Okay, what, what you can do is. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what we call a skills of reading. Okay. One of the most important thing is to identify the um, keyword, for example. Keyword. You, okay. you don't have uh, so much time mm -hmm. to read everything. Now, for example, for question number one, mentions how much money a famous company makes. Mm -hmm. So, you can see the word company. Yes. So, you just go through the article quickly and try to figure out which paragraph says the name of any company, any fam mm -hmm. uh, famous company. So, most is possibly that paragraph is the paragraph that we are looking for. Yes. Okay. So, so, we will know this uh, sentence referring to that paragraph. Yeah. So I, can only, I can only see money. Yeah, I can only see money in the in the, in the sentence. What is wrong with me? <laughs> that is the most interesting and attractive word compared to the, the, yes. the, the word the in life in the entirely. I believe. Yes. So okay. how are our friends doing now? You guys are doing okay. <laughs> they oh. are they are trying their best to figure out the paragraph. Okay, like this. <laughs> okay, so while while they are um, finding all the keywords. Mm. Nisa, Nisa, are you into sports? Yes, I am into sports. I play badminton mm -hmm. and I love uh, bowling. Is that, is that considered as a sport? Of course, bowling, bowling is a sport. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Badminton? Badminton. And sports? Uh, bowling. And, and, and bowling. Yes. Okay, good. I tried before mm -hmm. to play ping pong. Okay, ping okay. pong, wow. Yes, ping pong. That's hard. <laughs> but I, I, I can't really figure out the rules. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very bad with rules. Definitely. Yeah, when, when, they, when the coach say, uh, you stand here, you hit there, and you um, move your body like this. Yes. I, 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 How I couldn't to really get connect points the dots. from there. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the logic. So I just um, stand whenever I want to stand, hit the ball, and then I leave that to the to, to yes. the god. Okay, definitely. The okay, okay, I guess our friends here, they are all ready with their answers. Can we proceed with the answers, teacher? Yes, you mean. Okay. okay. Let's so, go. Uh, we are going to discuss the answers now. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, are you okay? Show me this. Are you okay? Show us this. Okay, so okay. that they are all okay. So we'll move to the questions. Okay, so first question mentions how much money a famous company makes. So let mm -hmm. us see. So which question paragraph? number one, which paragraph actually talks about that detail? A, B, C, or D? Okay, any volunteer for this? Who wants to answer? Question, uh, Raise question. your hand, a friend. Okay, okay Gigi. Gigi. Go ahead, your answer. Uh, my answer is paragraph B. Paragraph B. Are you sure, Gigi? B for ball or D for donkey? Yes, you are sure. Okay, let us see. B. Okay, guys. 
whenever you have when we will check the answer together mm -hmm. and if you give me a correct answer okay do this yes okay. okay and then the rest will be putting the hand together okay to All celebrate right. the answer okay so let us see question number one the answer is b b correct, correct. Okay, Gigi, on the count of three three two one <laughs> great okay so Gigi, can you please tell me okay Whenever we, we are doing any reading practices, mm -hmm. okay, we have to make sure that we are able to identify which line really talks about the information given. Okay, so Gigi, which line actually mentions how much money a famous company makes? Okay, Gigi, can you please tell me which line? The last line. The last, the last line, are you line. sure? Okay, what is the name of company mentioned in the line? Nike. Nike. Nike, okay, we can see. Which makes Nike 25 here. billion dollars. Okay, thank you. a year. Okay, great job, Gigi. Good okay. job. Okay. Okay, next. Next, moving on to the next question. Explains how football players earn their money. As we know, Which football players, they okay. earn a lot of money, right? Yes. Okay, so for this question, who likes to um, show me the answer? Anyone? Maybe I should date a uh, football player teacher. Yeah. They earn a lot of money. Yeah, and more dresses to <laughs> no, buy. No, 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 just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> okay, anyone? Anyone? Anyone wants to answer? Okay, Kuno. Okay, Kuno. What is your answer? My answer is paragraph A. Paragraph, paragraph A. A. Okay. Okay, let's see. Lock the answer. I lock the answer. Uh, okay, so let us see. Paragraph A. A. Okay. Authentic. Okay, now. Kuno, which line really tells you the detail? Line number 10. Line number line 10. Number okay, let's see together. 1, One two, 2, 3, 3 4, 4, 5, 6, 6 7, 8, 8, 9, 10. 10. Okay, the okay. players... Make. Can you please read aloud the lines? Kuno? The players, the players make money through salaries and sponsorship deals. Okay, excellent. Okay, so how do they make their money? Through salaries and sponsorship deals. deals. Okay, 3, 2, 1, Kuno. Great. Okay, so All right. moving to the next question. They are doing great, right? Yes, yeah, they are doing great. Yeah. And we will be calling the name of student who will answer the third uh, question. But before that, we will be taking a break. I'll see you guys after this on Teras Didik TV, KPM. KPM Didik TV KPM Thank you so much for those who are still watching Teras at Didik TV KPM. We are, we are with uh, Teacher Faiza and also our friends from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besar. Okay, let's proceed with our lesson, Teacher. Okay, so as I can see that everybody here has given me correct answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see that you guys have maybe have mastered the skills required to, to fulfill this task. Okay. We we'll just go straight to the last question. Last question. Okay? All right, Teacher. So last question, which paragraph states that professional should, should earn similar incomes? incomes. Okay, so anyone would like to share the answer for the last question? We are on our last question, which is which paragraph states that professionals should earn similar income? So who would like to try to answer this one? Okay, anyone? 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 Okay, Zahir. Okay. Zahir, see you again. Zahir. Uh -uh. I used to call him Zahir. Zahir, okay. Zahir. Okay. <laughs> Your answer, please. The answer is uh, in the paragraph D. Paragraph, paragraph D. 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 Okay, let's see D. whether you got it right. Paragraph D. Yay! Okay, well done, Zohair. Okay, Zohair, can you, can you please tell me which lines you, that actually states that professionals should earn similar incomes? Which mm. line, Zohair? You can line, read the line for us. Line number, line, line number 10. Line number 10. Can you please read aloud the lines for us? 
get rid of the huge differences in income earned by different professionals. Okay, mm. great. Get rid of the huge differences in income earned, earned by, by different, different professionals. professionals. So it means that professionals, they, are, they deserve to be treated equal, yes. right, Nisa? Okay. Yes. So let's see the answer. answer. Okay, so those are the answers for every question. Okay. Now, let's go back to the learning objective. So you guys are supposed to match at least six out of eight given phrases with related paragraphs correctly. Okay, mm -hmm. let us see the correct answers. And guys, can you please show me in, uh, with your finger the scores that you got for this practice? Okay, in the count of three, three, two, one. Show me your finger, the, your scores. Okay, eight, you can everybody see eight, got eight. eight, 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 and eight. Very Zahir? good. Okay, Seven, fantastic. Eight. Oh, okay. okay, fantastic. So everybody got eight. Yeah. It means that you are able to achieve the objective given. Okay, okay. so congrats, guys. Congrats. Okay, so moving. To the next activity for today, reading comprehension practice, task 4, page 33. Page 33 on textbook, guys. Okay, All so right. now you are given five meanings and then you will have to match the meanings given mm -hmm. to the different types of payments. As we know, the athletes, they receive so, lo uh, so much, uh, so many kinds of payments. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now kids, guys, need to read uh, all the meanings, okay, and then try to figure out any keyword that you can use to help you to identify mm -hmm. which payment fits which meaning. Okay, one minute, guys. One minute. One minute to, to read through. the meanings, and mm -hmm. you have to decide which phrases fits the definition given. Okay, yes. so the first one, the definition is money that is paid to the runners up and winners of sports events. I think I know this one, but I will let our friends answer this yeah. shortly. It's not that it's not that hard, right? Yeah, it's not that yeah. hard. We definitely can see the what is uh, meant by by the definition given. Mm -hmm. The second one is money that is paid by one team to another team mm -hmm. for a professional player. Interesting. Yeah. So if you are able to actually identify the keywords, mm -hmm. then it will it won't yes. be too challenging for you guys. And yes. that is what we are trying to help you to mm. to master the skills mm. of reading. Okay. Okay. Anyone ready with the answers? And uh, teacher, English yes. is not that hard actually. Yes. We can we can always learn and. Do not feel shy to learn and to try to speak with your friends at home or at school. Yes. Now that we are moving to the PDPR phase, so mm -hmm. let's just speak to our friends through social media or through your WhatsApp group. <laughs> yeah, you're correct. Okay, and so everybody, anybody ready with the answers? I, I think they are all ready. I think the they are, they are always ready. Yes, we can I proceed think. with the question number one, teacher. Okay, question number one. Money that is paid to the runners up and winners of sports events. Anyone? Anyone who would like to try the first? Okay, Shaza. Shaza. Okay, Your Shaza. Answer? Um, my answer is price money. Price, price money. money. Okay. okay, Shaza. What is the keyword that you use to identify the correct answer? Um, price. 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 Okay, great. Why price? Because we are talking about winners. winners. Okay, okay, so that is how to relate the details given in the question and also how to identify the correct answer. Okay. okay. So the oh sorry, so the answer is price money. Price Great money. job, Shaza. Moving on to the next question. Question number two. Who question would like to try two? to answer this one? Mm -hmm. Raise your hand, my friend, Zahir. Zahir. Okay, what is okay. your answer for this? Transfer fee. Transfer fee. Transfer fee. Okay, Zahir. What are some of the words that help you identify transfer mm -hmm. fee? Transfer. 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 Okay. Why transfer? Because we are talking about one team to another, another team. team. Okay. So let us check the answer. Correct. Transfer fee. Transfer the job. Fee. Okay. Excellent, Zahir. Question number three. Number Anyone? three. Question number three. Who wants to try this one? Number three. Oh, oh Anis. Okay. Anis. 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 Okay. Anis. Your answer, um, Anis. Sponsorship deal. Sponsorship, sponsorship deal. Deal. Okay, Anis, what makes you say that? Sponsorship deal. Because. Sponsor. 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 The word sponsor. Company. I um, sponsor. Okay, so you say sponsor because you can see 
wearing a company's clothing. clothing. Okay, so when it comes to sponsorship, we have to do whatever is asked by the company, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let us see the answer. Yay! Sponsorship deal. Correct. Great job. Okay. Next one, question number four. Question Money number that four. is paid to an athlete to take part in an event and make it more popular. Okay, so mm -hmm. who's into this question? Anyone? Anyone like to try out your luck? Yes. Okay. Iskandar. Iskandar. Uh, my answer is appearance fee. Appearance fee. Okay. The keyword is Iskandar. Keyword. Is appearance. 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 Okay. okay. Why appearance? Because the athlete just need to appear and they just do take part in the event. Okay, mm -hmm. let us see whether that is the correct answer. Yay, Very good. you got Appearance it right. Fee. Okay, last but not least, we have the last question. Question number five. Question number Payment five. Payment for playing regularly in a team, such as a football or basketball team. Okay, to play regularly for a specific team. Who Anyone? Who would like to try out their lot? Okay, uh, Kuno. Kuno. Your answer is? My, my answer is salary. 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 Okay, let us check out the answer. Salary. Okay, yes. great. Okay. Good job, everybody. So, everybody has mastered, uh, yes. has mastered actually, the uh, mm -hmm. reading skills. Okay, looking back at the, object, uh, at the objective, match five types of payments with their correct meanings. meanings. Okay, everybody with your fingers, show me your scores. Show me your scores. Show us your score. All get five. Okay. Congrats. Okay. Very good. Okay. So it seems that everybody has unlocked the learning objective number two. two. Okay. Great. So I think they are ready for the next lesson. Given let's go, their teacher. Achievement. Okay. So let's go to the speaking next activity. practice. Okay. If before they have to use the crack their heads mm -hmm. to find out the specific details and to read all the information given in a reading article, yes. now they have to use their understanding about the article mm -hmm. to help them to do this speaking practice. practice. That's for page 33 on page textbook. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you are given a situation Okay, mm. so the kids need to uh, do some kind of role play. Mm -hmm. They have to pretend to be someone else. Okay, okay. so we are, we are going to divide the kids into two roles. Okay, two so roles. student A is a world famous athlete who earns millions every year. Wow, how I wish I can have that. Yeah, right, Nisa? and then student B mm -hmm. is a secondary school teacher, like teacher Faiza, secondary mm -hmm. school teacher on a more normal salary. Normal salary, okay. normal. It, Indirectly indicates lower salary. Okay, mm -hmm. so student A justifies earning for more than a teacher. Need to explain why do you deserve such high income? Mm -hmm. Okay, and student B, you should justify that teaching is more important than a sport. sport. Okay. okay, so so three of them, three, three of, them. of you, three of you will will be student A, and three of you will be student B. Student A is athlete, mm -hmm. and for athlete, I would like to have by the role. Badro will be the athlete. Okay. okay. Anis and Shaza okay. for the athlete. Okay. Athlete. While student B, teacher. Okay. I think Kuno, Kuno, are you, are you okay with this to be a teacher? Okay, great. Kuno, Zohair, and Gigi. Okay, so we have three athletes and three teachers. Three teachers. With different tasks, uh, different speaking tasks. Mm -hmm. You have to argue. And, um, Please, uh, please remind that. Please be mindful that, in order to highlight your importance, it, we don't have to really downgrade any profession. Yes. Okay. Because each profession they deserve equal respect. Yes. Okay. okay. So we will be giving the students a uh, little time to get ready with their uh, conversation. So we will be coming back after this at Teras Diri TV KPM. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you after this. KPM DD TV KPM
guys are still watching Terasa Didik TV KPM. Before we go to our students for their conversation, uh, according to the situation given just now, I would like to show you guys a very beautiful card that we received from Adik Ahmad Danish Aiman from SMK Dang Anom Merlimau Melaka in conjunction with hashtag Terima Kasih Cikgu and the upcoming Teachers Day. This is a very beautiful one. Hashtag Terima Kasih Cikgu and thank you so much again Ahmad Danish Aiman bin Junaidi from SMK MK dan Anu Merlimau Melaka. Okay, teacher. Yes. I believe our students here, yeah. they are already with their points uh, to to converse uh, according to the situation given. Let's start, teacher. Okay, so guys, are you ready? If you are ready, show me this. Show me this. Double thumbs If up, everybody. Ready? Everybody okay. ready? Yes. Okay. So, I think I would like to hear from mm -hmm. um, Kuno. Oh. Who is our our, our student? Eh, Kunurania. See you yes, Kunurania. I think Kunurania, you represents a teacher, right? Teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, a teacher. Okay, let's talk about teacher. So, Kuno, why do you think yes. um, your role as a teacher is more important than sports? I think my profession is more important because mm -hmm. as a teacher, yes, I can teach uh, young generation and mm -hmm. make them realize about how much important okay. education to to get a bright future okay. mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. to introduce them about real, 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 reality, reality in facing the world uh -huh. okay so kuno how can a teacher make their students realize about the reality of the can you give me a specific example mm. uh, such as like um, everyone has a uh, dreams right okay mm -hmm. dreams so he she the, as a teacher mm -hmm. she, of course she, she or he want to want her want her students, students yeah. yes can achieve their dreams yeah mm -hmm. okay great so basically she, uh, she has to taught him um that him more and mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. so he can understood what she what she wants to be and learn mm -hmm. okay. to be the to be the, the and to be to be to be a successful you, person in future to, yes. to, okay very good okay okay good okay, job, job kuno so kuno is right mm -hmm. is Actually, trying to say that mm -hmm. a teacher can help the students to achieve their dreams, dreams. in life okay yes. good job kuno Okay, Thank moving you. on to uh, someone who represents or play the roles of athlete. Okay, athlete. let us see. Let us hear some from Badrul, please. Badrul, you are the athlete. Okay. As the athlete. Okay, Badrul, why do you think, as a um, famous athlete, why do you think you deserve such high payment, Badrul? Mm. Because okay. I'm a representative for this mm -hmm. country. Okay. okay. That is my that friend is from this country. My okay. come to this country. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Uh, it's okay. My friend from uh -huh. other country mm -hmm. might want to know about this country okay. and they will come to this country. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, when people so come to the country, uh, Badra? Huh? So Badra, when people come to the country, who will benefit mm -hmm. from that? Uh, the country itself. Okay, yes. Good. Okay. Continue, Badro. Okay. And the second reason is, mm -hmm. I make name by starting from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to work hard in order to be re re to be to be known by others, mm -hmm. and it's not that easy because there are okay. so many rivals that also have good skills. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you, Badro. Okay. I can see that he's. Uh, the the point is, uh, athletes is uh, like a small ambassadors to the country. Yes, yeah, face of the mm -hmm. country. So if people, if they they are being um, famous, mm -hmm. okay, if they are famous, so people will like to know more about the country, and yes. then the country will benefit in a uh, from a very uh, different in a different ways. Okay. Yes. So now, let us see uh, the opinions from Zohair. Zohair. Can you hear from you, Zohair? You are a teacher. Yes. Okay, kindly proceed. Okay, so hey, I think my profession is important because I educate young people mm -hmm. who produces the citizens of tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay, that will govern and develop our beloved country. 
Thank I you. Convey, okay. okay. I convey the useful knowledge for their future mm -hmm. use, such as uh, in a world and so on. Okay. okay. So you are educating the future generation, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here. Okay, yeah. great. Okay. Uh, Miss Sai, um, can we hear another uh, yes, thoughts yes. from any athlete there? Yes. Okay, so Shaza. Shaza. Would you, uh, would you mind sharing with us your opinions about this matter? Why do you deserve such high payment? Um, from, what, from what I know, mm -hmm. as a famous, famous footballer, okay. I work longer, like eight hours a day. Okay. But teachers only work for five hours. Mm -hmm. So uh, I must get higher payment. Mm -hmm. uh, also, athlete can involve in a dangerous situation, mm -hmm. uh, like. Azizul has a Awang that had a uh, wood get into his leg on mm. one of his competition. Mm. Okay, great. So, so as an athlete, you face a huge risk uh, when it comes to sports. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Then that's why you are you are um, entitled to so uh, to many kinds of payments because mm -hmm. you, the risk and challenges you face in the world of sport is very huge. Mm. Okay. Um, I think uh, Shaza mentioned just now that a teacher works only for only five days in a week. Mm. Can Gigi say something about that? Gigi. Is it true that we only work five days a week, Gigi, as a teacher? Uh, I think not. Okay. Uh, then I think, yes, because teacher doesn't work just five uh, hours a day. Mm -hmm. Because if the, if the student has an exam, uh, the teachers will mark the papers and that takes so much time. Okay. Uh, and also, the teacher, when they, it takes so much time, mm -hmm. actually, it's going to make the teachers uh, more tired than to... Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, thank you, Gigi. So, thank you. You mean that actually athletes and um, teachers, teachers they they have their own different roles to play and their importance is quite different mm -hmm. and we they are the backbone to each other actually yes. okay so let us see the objective we have heard the opinion we have listened to this some opinions mm -hmm. and their thoughts about this matter so going back to the learning objective three they are, they were asked to do a role play as an athlete or a teacher and justify the payment and the importance of their profession with relevant argument and i think yes. the kids there they have unlocked the objective by being able to provide all the details. Okay, Yay. thank you. Everybody, clap your hands. Good job, everybody. Good try. You guys are doing great so far. So we have unlocked all three learning objectives for today's lesson. What can we conclude, teacher, for today's episode? Okay, so the conclusion is, mm -hmm. um, from the article, it shows that the athletes or people in sports, people that are involved in sports, they are, they are uh, getting a lot of payment mm -hmm. and some people might question that but yes. based on their description and based on their argument just now you can see that actually athletes and teachers they deserve equal respect okay and um, the world needs um, generous hardworking athletes mm. dedicated teachers and super young generations to yes. make the world a better place all right thank you teacher Faiza and thank you my friends from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besa. I hope you guys at home also have been learning something from today's lesson. Maybe teacher can give us uh, some last words and maybe Hari Raya wishes okay. to everybody. <laughs> okay, so what I can say uh, is for all students who are watching this, okay, so in learning English, what can be the what can be the greatest obstacle is the fear itself. Yes. Okay. So as you can see, when the students are when the students know which skills to handle, which tricks to tackle, English won't be that hard. Okay. Mm -hmm. What matters the most is your you should be able to um, um, overcome your fear from yes. day to day, and you will end up being a very proficient English user. Yes. And for my Hari Raya wish, I wish everybody to have a great Eid Mubarak and. Be safe and don't don't forget to obey the SOP. Yes, okay. thank you so much, Teacher Faiza. 
we are now at the end of our episode. Thank you so much for everybody who are watching us now on Teras Didik TV KPM. I'll be seeing you guys after this. And Selamat Hari Raya. Stay safe and comply to the SOP. We will be leaving you guys with a special performance also from our students. Uh, the song is Standing in the Eyes. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Hopes and dreams that will not come true, and all them left behind now they will leave in you. Everyone wants to say just a day in the sun, but sometimes there is only room for one. Never have been so near, now the challenge is suddenly here. KPM